Gather round, children. I have a tale to tell. This is the plan. Ocean's Eleven style. Three mountains. Big mountains. Three days. We are going to do Midzor, tallest mountain in Serbia. We are going to do Zla Kalata, the real tallest mountain in Montenegro. And then we are going to go back to Karabi and do the tallest mountain of Albania. I'm not saying that we're terrible at making plans, but we haven't been great at keeping to them. And I didn't believe we could do it. So I was like, there's no way in hell we're actually going to do this. These mountain plans that we had come were very optimistic. If I remember the, the term terminology that was used by Paul. It was, we're gonna smash these mountains in three days. Also, thing that Jared says, you gotta manifest what you want. It's 4 a.m. We're just getting ready to leave for Serbia. It's just dawning on me right now that I'm not really too sure why we're doing this, so. Yeah. What's up gamers? It's nice and early, and we're about to begin our three country, three mountain trek of three days with camping in between. Are we all excited? Woo! Oh, yeah. oh. Status update. Paul said there wouldn't be snow, and there's snow. Paul, what do you think this climb is going to be like? Four hours of walking through a dirt snow. Arrived at the base of Midzor. From our best guess, which is usually wrong, we think. It's probably that. No, there's or, a big white one behind it. Oh, hey, there's a big white one behind it. But remember, there's not going to be any snow. And so it begins. All right, Decky is on a mission. Michael, very serious this morning. Paul bringing up the rear. And we're just about to start. I am speed. I haven't really mentally prepared myself for anything. You just take it as it comes. Yeah. And sometimes it comes pretty hard. <laughs> oh look, snow. There's an official lack of urgency with this, with this mountain climb. We have three days to do three peaks. They're all in different countries and we don't have enough time. And there's a major lack of urgency. We need to be hustling, running. Instantly regret that we didn't bring crampons or poles. Nothing could possibly go wrong. Fuck. How's the terrain, Decky? Great. Were we prepared for this? No. Nope. The peak just beyond is Midzor, but we're just guessing and we're not typically right. So this is typical Jared and Decky. They just run off. Look at us like we're slow pokes. Yeah, these are the guys that lose GoPros, smash drones, and then don't get the gondolas. So which, which mountain is it? Definitely in that direction. Definitely in that direction. Tall one. Which one's the tall one? I really hope it's not that one. Shortcut. This is great. Oh, like, look at this thing. Yeah. This is massive. And they're quite fresh. I would call that a wolf. It does look like one, which means we wouldn't be getting circled by a pack, but the lone wolves are often the most dangerous. They've been exiled, so they're more desperate and they're more likely to attack people. Fun fact. I know, I know there's gonna be a change. It's gonna be like, oh, let's take an extra day. No extra days, no extra time. We meet all of our goals. Needless to say, tensions are high. Currently setting up the, the live stream. And as always, Decky and and Jared get frustrated that we're doing our job and they just want to keep moving. Gotta pay the bills. Gotta pay the bills. How you doing, Michael? Is that Decky? <laughs> you know that Miley Cyrus song? Yeah. There's always gotta be another mountain. No, not that one. Oh. Which one? You know what I'm talking about. I came in like a rag. No. Boy. Which one? It's the climb! That's what I sang! No, it wasn't. What? Well, you sang the wrong verse. No, that was the start of the chorus. Michael! Educate yourself, my conscience, Ryan. Michael! What? Wolves like to pick off the stragglers at the back of the group. They still don't understand. We need to be on Zlagarada by darkness tonight, or else we're gonna fail. We're never gonna make it to Zoltar Kuntraba at this pace. I think Michael is having a crisis. I'm just slowly chilling, enjoying my walk. I got three days of this. I don't need to kill myself, I suppose. I could, but I don't really want to. Michael, I know you're gonna watch this video later. We're worried about you. Hi, I really hope you're okay. You know you're editing this right now. Just take three deep breaths. And hurry the fuck up. I 
I've been having some knee issues and after doing a little bit of YouTube doctoring, I've learned that part of my issue is coming from my hip and it's the tendon is stretched to my knee and so you gotta loosen it up. Oh yeah, right, oh, oh fuck. Michael, where'd you find that? I found a banana on the ground. Right here? Right here. Look, it's a bit brown, but the inside looks pretty good. Is it frozen? A little bit. Mmm. Mmm, it. Mmm, good. Mountain banana. Mountain banana. We noticed Decky was taking quite a long time and he was kind of internalizing a little bit. And it took a toll on me. It Not physically, but mentally. Like, I have a fear of heights. Being stuck on that little ledge terrified me. It was strange that it affected me so much. What might not seem as bad to others can be terrifying for other people, so you, you kind of need to empathize. Here we are. Um, definitely not the smartest nor the most comfortable, but... <laughs> cruising. How's mentally? How you doing? Height, height not doing well. Right? Yeah. It's definitely getting affected today. Eventually, Jared let me have, hold his stick, a real stick. I don't know if Dickie realized, but I, I was just telling him, I've also got a strap on your backpack as well. <laughs> it didn't do anything, but I was just like trying to be some form of support. As soon as I like had something to hold on to, my brain started getting, you know, functionality of it still started realizing that stuff wasn't really that bad. How you feeling? My favorite climb. Yeah. yeah. That's great. It's been my least favorite. You guys ready? Yeah. Number five. Number five. Midsor. Woo! We did it. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Bring it in. My Sherpa. Bring it All in. the boys. I'm trying. Proud well of you done, guys. Hi. Well done, bro. I thought we were literally about to kiss. Oh. Uh, Michael and Decky decided to fly my drone into a gorge and crashed it. Michael took fault. I'd said for penance that I would wear the yoke of shame and take off all of my clothing except for my boots and I would sing. My wayward daughter or hullabaloo in Brisbane. Uh, we are Australia. Michael really put it out there, both singing and physically. I wanted to feel like I was carrying the weight of Australia on my shoulders. <clears throat> Amazing! That was beautiful! We've made it back to Pidgey, our valiant steed. The mountain has been conquered. It's actually really nice. It was, this is a great hike. This is a great one. Did you enjoy it, Michael? Favorite hike, favorite mountain. Favorite hike, favorite mountain. That's how good it was. Midzor, Serbia. On to the next one. What's up gamers, it's your boy Pestley here with Decky. We've been sleeping in a tent all night and uh, it's been raining. We're about to climb Zakalada and uh, it's going to be a great day. It's the highest peak in all of Montenegro. We have to walk a very long way. It's going to rain for the first six hours and then it's going to snow while we're at the top. It's pretty death defying, a lot of cliffs, a lot of death moments. None of us are going to freak out and it's going to be a great day.
I'm really excited. What in the fuck have we gotten ourselves into today? Oh, shit. So we've set off to climb Mount Zla Colada. So this is our second mountain in a second day. Well, the weather's not the greatest, but it's, it's not that cold yet. So that's nice. Really excited for this one. Pretty streams. Pretty, pretty, pretty streams. Look at all the prettiness. Look at the team. I love the stream. Pretty. Very pretty, isn't it? Yeah. I'm feeling really good at the minute, but it's because we haven't really walked up anything steep. I don't think everything's going to be pretty here in a couple hours. Ah, uh, you got to manifest it. You got to manifest the good things. Yeah, it's going to be great. <laughs> Come to our first major obstacle. It's a river crossing. She's flowing very steady and strong. One small step, and it could be the end of one of our adventurers. I think we could turn back. Ah! You made it. I did. Woo. That was a close one, Pess. We have entered the snow. Hopefully it'll cool down a little because we are all sweating like crazy right now. We're approaching this unknown structure, whether it be to seek shelter. <sighs> Rumor has it that it's also a shop. We have no idea, but we need refuge from the harsh conditions. The rain doesn't light up. The snow is building, which doesn't make sense. How do you have rain and snow, but we do. Coming up on this little shack. Status update, Facebook. We have found the shop. Dickie's putting on a heat pack in his shoe. Paul is enjoying the serenity. This is the serenity. That's the shop. It's closed. And that's Jared after doing a wee. Hey, Jared. Hi. Spirits are still in our bodies. Definitely not high. Feeling good. So we just heard a really loud bang and we're out in the middle of nowhere. So either there's a man that's out in the middle of nowhere hunting or which is quite possible. there's a major ice crack or avalanche. Um, yeah, Michael did say, let's have a safety talk. Uh, and then Jared's like, if we do get hit by an avalanche, dig a little area around your face and spit. Find out which way is up and then start digging up. And I'm just thinking here going, we should be stopping. We did trudge on and then there was a another loud crack. And once again, you couldn't identify where it was because the echo and everything else. And at that point, I think we, all of us were kind of like, okay, there's maybe an issue at this time. And there was a final very loud crack. And that's when I think Jared pretty much was like, I don't want to do this shit anymore. All right, so that was the third gunshot or avalanche we just heard. We're kind of feeling super unlikely that it was a gunshot since we're in the middle of nowhere. There are deer around here, but it's less likely to be a gunshot. There, there's a big crack. It really fucking sucks if you're shooting. But yeah, so we've been going through very deep snow and there's no defined track. We are following a track, but it's pretty sketch. We've got to go up there, turn around this, this big hill bit here. Now we have to go up a cliff edge and it's just not looking any more feasible. And with potentially three avalanches already happened today, it's yeah. just not worth our, our risk. So yeah, we made the decision to turn back. Uh, I think spirits weren't really broken. It was kind of just a bit of like, oh, well, this kind of sucks. Dude, it's not worth the risk, I know. Like every step I take back, take back I'm like, should we do it? The adventurers begin their trek back, defeated and saddened by the conditions that they were not able to complete their hike. They were not able to summit Za Colada. For the three peaks, you know, in three days challenge, that was kind of a feat because we didn't do it, but at least we were on the mountain. I had already started to have some speculation that we weren't gonna be doing the next peak the next day. So even though we hadn't finished that peak, I was still very gung ho. I was like, we drive to we drive to Krabi and we climb that shit tomorrow. That was quickly shot down and decided that we were not gonna go to Krabi the, that night and we were not gonna climb it that next day. So, so yeah, sadly, there was a day in between, which was great to have a day of rest. Yo, what's up gamers? It's your boy Sterdecky back at it again. So we're in Montenegro right now. We got Michael packing up his bag. We got Jared over here drying out his shoes. We are, we were real wet yesterday. We're prepping to go back to Karabi, the first mountain to beat us. Despite our defeat on Zla Karada, it was Kalada. Despite our defeat there yesterday, um, we're pretty pumped about this. We've, we've been on Krabby before. She's a mean bitch. We're ready for her this time. Something happened to Jared's face. <laughs> it's a cold sore the size of his whole bottom lip and it, we've called it Ricky. I drank after Jared a lot when we got trapped out for, on the mountain. And I'm really scared that Ricky's gonna infect me. <laughs> Hey, we're driving! Hey, come on, what are we doing with that truck? <laughs> huh? Right, this is the situation. We had to pick whether we'd go camp on the mountain in the rain. <coughs> but unfortunately, <coughs> 
Paul has <laughs> contracted the black lung, so <coughs> we we can't do that. <coughs> which only costs eighty eight euro for the four of us. For, for two of us to sleep in a queen bed each. I'm sleeping with Decky tonight in a queen. Yeah. Oh, that's the rooms we've got. I thought we had three rooms. Do we have three rooms? We don't know. We, we got <laughs> we four got people. Yeah, it was we very hard to communicate. With, but we have room for four people. One of us is sleeping together with the other one. Um, I don't think so. Really? I think we have two queens and a double. Maybe we just have four queens. Maybe we are four queens. <laughs> We've got a fire here. We've got our, the owner. Um, and tomorrow morning we're getting up at four in the morning to climb the mountain. Wait, wait what are you covering? <laughs> I'm just drinking my beer. What do you got to say, Jared? Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> what drink you got to say? Cheers. It is another entity. It, it is. It is taken over his body. It is. It is quite the growth. That is disgusting. <laughs> Every great film, book, story always starts off with a hero that something terrible happens to them by a villain and they're kept alive. The first peak was Albania, Mount Karab, and we basically got wrecked by it. Um, we took some wrong turns. It was a lot more difficult than we expected. We were all, you know, gung-ho, had so many aspirations. We thought so much. We were very, you know, thought very highly of ourselves. Yeah, we, we definitely didn't feel like mountain climbers after that mountain. It, it did hurt us a lot mentally for like breaking our spirits. Mount Karabi, that was our major villain. The person that took something away from us. I can't stress enough, we have to beat it. We were ready to die on that mountain this time. There was no way in hell Karabi was gonna beat us. Not this time. This is the moment we've all been working our little asses off for. We're going back to Karabi. Where it all began. Back where it all began. Paul, how are you feeling? Oh, I'm so excited. You're aiming over there. <laughs> we as a team, Karabi, get lost we're not getting lost. No, we didn't get lost the first time. We Somebody went. famously stated yesterday we did not get lost the first time. We, we went the wrong way. We got lost here. We got lost. Well, went the we wrong did, way. We didn't go where we wanted to, we went and the we wrong were trying way. to. I think Look, that's Karabi's already making us fight. Karabi's making us fight. That's what she wants. I was a lot cooler last time we were doing this walk. Much cooler. So we are what, like? 10 minutes in. Jared's taking a shit. Why he didn't do it when we were at the hotel? It's really just there. Jared's been gone for a while now. We don't know where he is. <laughs> Jackie, do you see him? Gone. He's gone? I found you! I'm coming! Just had a quick little pit stop. Had to take off some layers, shed some weight. Now we're back on the trail. Jared! Are you okay? We found Jared. Jared, why did you put your buff up? It's not cold! Jared's very self-conscious about the uh, growth that's happened on his lip. I'm also very self-conscious that I drank after him. I fear that I might have a lifelong partner named Ricky as well. It's alright, you look beautiful. Don't be ashamed. How was your poo? It was glorious. How's Ricky? He's great. Oh God. Am I talking to Jared or Ricky now? We got clear skies ahead, breaking through. Team's excited, we're pushing. It's exciting. It's fun. Boys are flying the drone. So the, uh, the other guys have been stopping nonstop for any reason they can find, but then they stopped to tell us to do a drone shot, and that's when they wanted to move ahead, which is the exact same scenario that we got left on Musala. So we did the drone shot, they left us, and instead of following up, we're going a different path to make them think we're lost. After Masala, after the incident, we said we'd always keep eyesight of each other. It's Paul, but I can't see the boys, and now I'm a little bit worried. But I'd like to be separated. Ducky! Ricky! Well, we caught them, but fortunately we came out behind them, not in front of them. So that one's Karabi, right? No, it's the one over there on the other side of that. It'll go further and you're gonna keep going that way. Definitely not that way, okay? So make sure you go that way because that one is Karabi. Be the Austrian signing out. I love the cultural sensitivity we use in that video.
we finally get to the point where we know we took the wrong turn last time. And then we decided to go off trail. Instead of veering right, we're supposed to veer left. But Paul makes the executive decision that we're gonna do the same thing as last time. That trail and we're gonna go across the bridge is gonna be much easier. Now I'm looking at it going, that looks the fucking same. After that first mountain, when we failed it, we'd been like, we always stay on trail and we don't listen to what other people tell us. And instantly when this decision was made to go off trail on the same mountain that we got confused on, and he had been like, well, the guy at the cabin told me that we go up this way. And I was like, so we're both listening to other people and we're going off trail, which is the two things that led us to failure on the first one. So we're hiking through uncharted territories now. Whoa! We're literally on the side of the cliff. We currently are up on the side of Krabby and we have gone into this unnatural mist. It's eerily quiet and visibility is about 10 meters. Very, very creepy. But we are trudging up the path that we missed last time, actually on the trail and on the path to the peak of Krabby. But we weren't ready for this. It truly is unnatural. You can barely see anything in any direction. Is that you, Michael? I'm kind of waiting for a creature to grab me from behind and pull me into the mist. I would love it. Oh fuck, holy shit. Wow, that's a cliff edge boys. We're on track, we're on the edge of the world. Can't see like three steps in front of me. We're currently making our final push towards the summit. We hit a major ridge line, absolute cliff off the other side after doing a very, very long ascend. We're pumping it, we're almost there. The final bit. Such a great feeling being able to see that. I think that moment of seeing it was bigger than, than actually like touching it at the top. And I honestly think it's probably the best views we've had on this whole trip. It was a really, really happy moment. Uh, I think for me at least, but everyone for the fact that we came back and we, we conquered this bit of a bastard of a mountain. It had just been such a cool experience and it was by far my favorite climb of this entire trip. You know, I can definitely feel myself getting emotional where I had realized my dreams to be a professional adventurer and I had felt like I had made that possible with the help of three new friends. Michael, Hi. you're an adventurer. I wouldn't say I'm an adventurer, but I would say I'm on an adventure. <laughs> I haven't cried on any mountains yet, but I do remember when Decky turned around and said to me, Michael, do you want to say something to your kids? And there he is, Michael, AKA the producer, AKA the neighbor, and most of all, the dad. Michael, give a shout out to your kids. Hey River, hey Winter, hey Miss Cedar, I miss you very much. So I, I didn't want to say anymore because if I kept speaking about them, you know, I miss my kids a lot. Final push to the summit, the first mound that beat us on the very first climb. Here we are. It's been a journey, guys. Fucking oh, nice. Let's do it. Karabi! <laughs> oh my god. Uh, bring it, it in, boys. Oh, there it is. I think Euphoria was kind of all around where everyone was just happy. We spent probably a little bit longer up there than we needed to, but it was just nice to be able to sit up there and appreciate the view, enjoying the time together. seeing the group open up to more and more who we are. Paul, he is probably one of the ultimate optimists. He's pushed me to limits, things that I didn't think I was capable of. And without him kind of pushing, I wouldn't have done it. You've got to have those people in your life that kind of make you go further. Dickie, on the other hand, is pretty much someone that if you're in the, in the shitty mood, he'll help you snap out of it. He's always up to do something uh, irresponsible, inappropriate, and I'm down for that as well. So. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've talked about, we, Jared and I have had a couple of chances to bond over my mistakes. We're partners in crime is what I had said the last time. And I honestly do look at those two boys like they are family. They mean a lot to me. Jared was uh, definitely a lot more introverted and shy. He's definitely come out of his shell by now. He's even brought along Ricky. He honestly has made me laugh a lot and become a, a really good friend. It's just been good to have him around as a, just a person. Still, Michael's the best to be around. He's such a such a pleasurable guy. And like I said, he's like the mom of the group. He, he plays a great, you know, caring role. Michael, he knows his role. He uh, 
he pretty much is my lackey. He's also focused on making sure this content's good for you guys. Yeah, always working. The mother of the group, I would say. He's always looking out for everyone. This team is great. Trip two, we're coming, baby. Trip two, woo. Trip two. Trip two is gonna be huge, baby. Well, it's not over yet. We still got 10 fucking days left. <laughs> what are we doing? We're growing, it's good, isn't it, Michael? Oh, it's so good. And we wouldn't be able to do it without you and all of his money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Guys, become a Patreon. I know you already are Patreons, but <laughs> stay a Patreon. Bring your mum. Find your mum and be like, mum, it's $3.50. Become a Patreon. Love you.